Welcome back to our Airstream renovation. Now this 10 minute video represents four weeks of work and we have had to find quite the balance of living our life and renovating this trailer. Our goal of being finished is changed, but that's okay because we're learning as we go and our timeline is um, more appropriate and it's a better balance. In between this whole month, we've had an anniversary, we've had a birthday, we've had a baptism, we went on an awesome trip. And so it's a, it's a big balance for us finding ways to enrich our kids' lives and be present and also learn new things and, and have a lot of progress with this trailer. And um, yeah, it's just something we're learning as we go. Look at all this snow. It makes it so hard to work on the Airstream. But it's still here, covered in snow. Lots of snow, but uh, see if we can get some work done on it today. Here we're putting in the back piece of the subfloor. Uh, it was a really tight fit and you'll see here in a minute that um, I am going to have to make some modifications to it. Uh, but here we're just trying to install all the subfloor. I did have some, some help from my little helper and uh, uh, we got quite a bit of it done. But you'll see here in a minute that I actually painted the wrong side. Uh, so I thought that the beige side was supposed to go underneath but turns out I accidentally flipped it over somehow in the process. So here I'm taking an old piece of angle iron that I was using for a lot of the supports for the tanks and I'm cutting it up into smaller rectangles. On the back of the trailer, uh, between the bolt, the shell, and the subfloor, there's a square steel, almost washer to help hold down the uh, shell to the subfloor. So here I'm just cutting them into smaller pieces and then I'll be drilling a hole in them later. So I'm cleaning up to get ready to paint and Bobby will talk about it later when he's on the other side. But as I open up the can of yellow, I think we left it outside or it was in the garage or something, but it was like frozen solid. So after some attempts to use it, we decided to use a different one. It's a bit messy, but you can see it's just a little too long, which is a good thing, but I'm going to have to the epoxy the edges. Finally got this piece in right here. I had to trim off this edge uh, in order for it to fit, but those two pieces are in, working on this last piece, but I miscut it on the back. Luckily it's too long. All I have to do is take off some, uh, some, some wood, but uh, oh, you can see there too. I gotta hit that in from the outside. Overshot it a bit. You guys are such big helpers. Some 
nighttime painting. I like blue anyways. Just try not to paint myself in a corner. like it uh, either froze or just went bad so we had some blue paint so now the floor is blue I don't know if you can tell the floor is now blue first yellow now blue because why not so with an airstream I guess with an airstream restoration it does feel like one step forward and about 18 and a half steps back. But hopefully this is the 18 and a half step for the sub floor. Although I do still have to add in all the bolts. Oh, haven't done that yet. But at least now what we can do now that the floor is painted, what we can do is now start uh, taping off our layout, which will be super exciting. That's something that Lex has been wanting to do for a really long time, pretty much day one. So now the floor is painted. Uh, we can do that now. No more yellow floor. Now it's all blue. I'm sure the next person to restore this Airstream is going to wonder why there are so many colors. Oh, there's still some yellow right there. Why there are so many colors on the floor. Because underneath we have like a taupe brown color underneath the plywood. And we have resin, epoxy resin all along the outside uh, prevent from uh, any more rotting away the ply plywood floor um, and now we have over here there's like four coats of paint and then two coats of paint everywhere else so the subfloor should last for at least a couple years but anyways now that oh and then luckily I have a remote for our light there we go there's our floor Subfloor, I will consider that like 85% done, maybe 90. So all I have to do is just bolt it down to the frame over there. Um, and I guess I have to tighten up all of these bolts right here. But we'll consider it mostly done. Next will be wiring. We're gonna wire in our, our new harness for the lights, um, not the LED lights we're gonna have, but for the trailer lights. So brake lights, running lights, um, the, all the blinkers and everything, the relays, all that will get connected at some point, maybe in the next week or so, but it uh, feels good. It feels good to have it cleared out and kind of shows how big and open it is, but I'm sure that will soon change. 